This video gives you some quick tips or tricks for creating a moother diagram or a closeness uh, diagram. So when you have criteria for closeness, some activities or departments need to be next to each other. Some cannot be near each other. Some would be nice if they were, but they don't absolutely have to. So we want to create this smoother grid to show that uh, closeness and um, what can be near and what can't. So the challenge, of course, with doing this is that there's not really any nice um, computer programs for building these Moother grids. And in fact, if you Google Moother grid, you get a lot of examples on the internet. So lots of pictures that show what the different grids look like. But in terms of places to create it, there's not a whole lot of, of choices. Uh, not a lot of programs that are pre-built to allow you to do that, at least not ones that are free and freely avail available. So how do you create a Moother grid? Well, you can actually create a grid for yourself in Excel. And so it just takes a little bit of color coding to help keep yourself on the right track. So let's suppose that you have a couple different departments or activities, we'll call them A through G. And so what we've done here is we have color coded a little bit of gray just to help us track what's related to these different activities or departments. So you can see that I have A here in white and then B in gray, C in white, D in gray, and so on. And then we go at a diagonal upwards. And that's because when you're creating a moother, moother grid, what you want to do is show the relationship between department A and department C or activity A and activity C. Okay, so let's suppose that um, this is a company that does body work on vehicles. And so A is where we do sales with our customers. And let's say that D is where we do uh, painting, E is drawing. Um, we have different components here. Okay, so we probably don't want sales to be near where we're painting because we don't want those toxic fumes impacting our customers. So in creating our own grid using Excel, what we see here with the gray is that if we follow these gray squares upwards, this point here shows us the relationship between sales and painting. So here, if we can't have sales next to painting, we would put an X, okay? If we want our painting and drawing to be near each other because uh, we don't wanna move the vehicle when it's wet, we want to just uh, move it up just a tiny bit so it's out of the way so we can paint the next item, but we don't wanna get anything on that wet paint. So we absolutely must have them near each other. So you can see with this white square here, it's painting and drawing. So when you do a moother grid, if we go back to some of the pictures, the way the diamonds worked is that it was the edge, so you see the top left here of this diamond and the bottom left of the diamond told you which activities or departments we were looking at in that particular diamond. When we're doing it in Excel, we have one that is straight across and then the other one is the bottom corner at the diagonal. So for sales, it was straight across and then the diagonal, which we're using that color coding gray to help us flag that this is painting and sales cannot be near each other. Whereas painting and drawing absolutely must be near each other. Because we only wanna look at the relationship between our active, each of our activities and each other once, the other part of the square you can see has been grayed out. So we know not to put anything in that particular space. So by color coding our Excel spreadsheet, uh, that will help us build our Moother grid since there's not great software to do that uh, automatically.